Wow, that was some sweet timing. All right, the battle has commenced. 19 hours and six minutes later, we have Team Perusa versus Team Creality. So yeah, let's uh, scrape these off the bed. Okay, actually scrape them off the bed. Do I actually need two hands for this? That's why I can't have nice things, guys. All right, let's grab these. And let's go test fit. I figured I would let Mike talk about this, but I don't. Hello? Yo. What? Want to do some filming since I'm already filming about your brakes? I figured I'd let you talk about them since you own them. Ooh. So these are the finished products here? Fresh off the printer? Fresh off the printer. So basically what happened was Get right in there. We are trying to build this car for like Pikes Peak style racing. Um so you know bigger things in the future. And the available brake kits, the biggest available was like 355 millimeter. And if you look at any you know performance car that's worth its salt today that's actually on the track, they have big brakes. So the original plan was running Viper ACR tires which we mounted and then track modified in grid life. But then for some reason, grid life like banned the tire or something. So we still have them we have the 19s and we're like, let's fit a 380 rotor. Um, so it's this big honker, um, but the brakes didn't fit at all. Um, we could, Stop Tech really didn't have any sort of resource. They, anytime I asked for any details about what different top hats and stuff they would have, they were like, we cannot discuss that. If I think they were just trying to shield themselves from liability or something, I don't know. Anyway, we ended up getting the E90 M3 trophy kit essentially and retrofitting it onto my E46. The first thing we needed to do was obviously make custom brackets, but to get there, to clear the wide angle and the tie rods and stuff, we needed to take off the nubs that push the rotor off the top hat, which is done for like venting and stuff like that and heat. Don't we have one? Oh, we got one right here. Oh yeah. So we just laid off Or that. Yeah. But anyway. But yeah, basically it was just, we couldn't get the right offset hat. So it was either design and, you know, machine a whole hat or just Mods. machine down the tabs. So yeah, here we are, and machine then, down tabs. And then the next mod was to make brake brackets. So the 3D printers have been hard at work. This is probably revision, what, like six, seven? Yeah, something like Somewhere that. In there. And then we have these sweet new brackets. This is like the final form bracket, I think. Let's see if the threads from the printer are good. Oh, they're great. Our 3D printers are super icy. Anyway though, um, so I guess we'll get this test fit, but we had to make our own brackets, so we'll make this out of billet. So I don't go in the track of 3D printed brackets and immediately Could you die. imagine how gnarly that would Just be? Just immediately die. Just explodes I, in a... I'd be closer to dying, exiting the gingerman pit lane than usual. Usually I'm <laughs> sliding toward the wall anyway. Um, it's so awkward how slippery it is there. I don't know why. Anyway, we're going to put these big honkers on this. And then also in the back, we had like 330 rotors, which were like, I mean, they're not that bad for like a stock car, but I had the stock calipers and stock rotors for way too long for how fast this car is. So we finally have the 355s from the same stock tech trophy kit that we're going to adapt to the rear with these massive four piston stop techs, uh, stop tech rotors, sorry, calipers. Mm. And then we have these big Willwoods that are thick enough to go over this rotor for the dual caliper bracket. So this thing is still gonna have some sweet dual calipers on here for you know the e-brake fun. Um, but I think, I don't know if you can zoom in on this. This is a 3D printed bracket. The printers are so good now that I literally can print threads and then just thread through. That's when you know when your printer's dialed in pretty nice. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll give the front one a, a go. So yeah, basically, like, this is just all the prototypes, but as you can see, they just evolve from blocks just to offset the knuckle spacing and the caliper bolt spacing. And then, you know, as you dial that in, you can start taking out some material just to make it look cooler. And uh, yeah, then finally, you just actually print threads, and then you can 
not torque this down, but you can get it snug enough that you know that like there's no movement. So this one's actually bolt in before the rotor gets put on. So it's kind of unlike most BMW um, setups, but that's kind of what we had to do to fit these giant. I mean, it's an E46 with E36 knuckles and <laughs> wide angle and E92 M3 big brake kit. So she's about everything but an E46. Yeah. That's, that's torque. Dude, Jesus. she's taking the torque, dude. I, do, I know, I can hear it. That though. infill though, wow, that's cool. She's calling me. All right, cut customer call. Cut. TV timeout. Hello? All right, well, after that amazing customer service call, right to my cell phone, as you know, we're very official here. Um, we can get back to work. Let's get this giant old rotor on here. And just for reference, this is not gonna be a customer kit, just cause it's kind of sketchy. This is not gonna be available unless you like. It's definitely not sketchy in any way. It's just a lot of work that like a customer can't do. Like you would have to either mill down your own rotor hats or you'd have to send them to us to mill down and like maybe like a few just maybe. to help people. But like, I don't want a core program with E92 M3 rotor hats or <laughs> E46 swapped big brake kits. No. It doesn't sound like a good one. All right, this thing is upside down. We know the rotor's upside down. The, I mean, we know the caliper and rotor are backwards. We know. We're just test fitting, guys. Relax. I don't think they could see the veins, but. Relax on the keyboards. Oh, get the, oh yeah, oh. I'm too old. Dude, this 60% this, this infill? with the zigzag feels pretty good look at those threads it's like almost clean down here for the first time in the cars it took a little bit it took a little bit of cleaning finally my car is finally getting loved it hasn't been loved in like since i blew it up i mean like the first time i drove it like in the last two years yeah so good times what the shit you can do it. You probably torqued in the top one too hard for the 3D print. It's too much torques. Oh, I was just not on the hole. You're also supposed to be in the hole. That's what she said. What is this? Oh, a trans parking brake cable in my face. All right. Dude, this thing supports it really well. the back side. I know it's uh, the infill really helps. Look at that! Wow. So boom, we'll grab some. Uh... There's pads in there even. Wow, I was gonna say grab pads, but she's minty. That is beautiful, Chris. God damn it, Chris! That was my tool that I was saving for later. <laughs> of course. So yeah, we have. Uh... So yeah, this is. Uh... Hold on, let me get some. Oh Jesus. Well, get me in the angle. I want to be in here. You want to be in there? Hi. <laughs> what you doing back there? Dude, it looks cool back here. Let me pass the camera. I was just down there for like two minutes. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, this is a perfect fitment. So, we'll just make this out of billet now. Yep. Just like everything, it'll be gold. Oh, someone's at the front door. Hello? I think it was a ghost ring. Hmm. Those are our favorite. Yeah. All right, let's do the backs now. All right, I guess we're doing whites. We're doing whites today? Yeah, well, I think, I think the Creality printed out. I did a little... Shh, don't listen. This one was way worse when I, when I scraped it off. Oh, wow. Shh, I can't see that on camera. How the threads look on the black one? Oh, they both look... No, these ones look way smaller. It's like support No, material. that's the sport material. I tripped when I was walking in, so half of the sports fell out, but not the other half. And then just poke out like that. Boom. I wouldn't even worry about those ones. Eco-friendly. Let's try that. Let's do the black one. Yeah. So we did a little, little space race between. Space race. Essentially. These ones just the. Whoa, buddy. The top layer kind of. Who's this? Oh my god. This is literally. 
this is real. You life. missed the Mustang. I know. Is that why you're Were you inspired? Is that why you're <laughs> No, I remember like three days ago. I was rocking the Pit Vipers when we took the Mustang to lunch. This is real life, guys. This isn't an act. This is a DCT wiring man in the flesh. This is what he, <laughs> he puts on this outfit every time he wires mechs. <laughs> What are you looking for, Mike? I already got all the tools over here. I pre-planned it in your sweet carpet. We're doing a carpet delete because Mike's finally realizing that he owns a race car and not a street car. Uh, Whoa, it's still street legal. It's a hard, it's a hard. Oh yeah, everything's street legal. You have to like really try to be not street legal nowadays. Is this a this side bracket or is this No, this it's a backside, backside. Backside? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. That's nice, I like it better. It's easier to put these things in. Is there a right and a left or just? Nope. Uh, no, they're actually symmetric, which is nice. nice. Yeah. Can't, can't have these support materials on there. God. Oh, yeah. Guys, imagine if I knew how to like work on a car. I'd be so good at this if I knew what I was doing. It would be impressive. It's just a bunch of nuts and bolts at the end of the day. I'm just really good at delegating. <laughs> 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 I am like expert level. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Mine? No, those are just spare batteries. There's just some spare batteries. Dude, whenever you like move the camera to the outside world, it's bright out. We're not used to this in Michigan. It takes like eight minutes for the camera to focus. It's like 68 degrees out. This is like perfect. Like I was in a t-shirt in the Mustang. Yeah, but I'm like used to walking out 17 degree weather in a t-shirt, maybe a sweatshirt. Dude, oh, yeah, it is I beautiful. Just... I'll say we have the top down on the lunch. Like a little bit of a We're gonna get some good footage of Ryan doing some burnouts and donuts in the Mustang. We're just waiting for the clutch 500 mile break in because we we're. the cleanest little update on this Fox body, his high school Fox body. Yeah, we should do a little overview. We gave it a little new lease on life. It and it wasn't like a full on build, it was just like, let's get nice parts that are cheap and put this thing together. Yeah. Well, it, was clean. it just needed every new bushing everywhere and new fluids and everything. Cosmetically, it was beautiful. It just like functionally did not work. Yeah. It did have the most impressively dirty power steering fluid I've ever seen. Yeah, oh, it basically looked like tar coming out. <laughs> it was gross. All right, slap this rotor up there. Yes. All right. Oh, yeah. You're so strong, Mike. Thanks for noticing. You even have a rotor holder? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, it just crashes to the ground. Although I'm team that it's a must with studs. Even with studs, these yeah. things suck. That's true. Are they not fit the center hub as tight as others? They do, but it's not like a slip over, it's a taper, and so the tapers just match. So it never fully goes over anything, it just oh. lines up some tapered. We're like live right now, so I hope this works. Live action! Dude, I miss that guy. He's probably eating my gator by now. Who's this? Live action guy? I don't like know. Like Discovery Channel, he had like turtles, he was like the turtle man. He did this thing, he, did, he was like... Hold on, we gotta get this. Live action! That's what he did, I don't know his name is though. He would get the turtles. I guess I just was watching smarter things. Dude, you guys don't watch Swamp People sometimes? Not I was more recently. You guys are missing yeah. out. I love nature. Modern marbles. Oh, I like Steve Irwin. Oh, R.I.P. R.I.P. Yeah. Do we get this support material out of the tools? Let's put on here. I don't know. You're like hardcore torquing this thing down. I'm taking it out. There's just, maybe there's support material in there. It shouldn't be though. Those. Sounds like a bolt that you know is not coming out. Especially into plastic. Is this, Why is are you tightening this down then if it's not? I was just, you know, giving it one last go. Yeah, the thing is disaster. I'll, you, I'll show you later. We'll get to that in the Alright, cut part to of this us video. like fixing fixing these threads. Okay, go. Just, like, just, the go. Uh probably over the, there. What are you talking about? The white. Okay. Now you're really seeing seems like a garage live. Um God damn it guys. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Alright, go with the white one then. So See, it? that's the right thread. It would never get that far. You also were in charge of this before. No, because it would have been the CAD. I did that. 
see that? God, his hands. All right, we're putting. All right, well, maybe Creality won this race on both the front and back. I think the Creality, that one Creality is so well tuned that the, the, it just. It also doesn't have any Creality parts left in it. No. It's basically all. She's got my equivalent billet of feed, my car. billet heater. Like. It's my car, but like the yeah. printer version. I'm going to go put this tap back before we lose it. What is this one? Yeah, basically. Uh, yeah, there's a body in white that's the same down here. I think that rear rotor is bigger than most people's front rotor. 355, baby. All right, now I am actually getting a light. I'm gonna go swap SD cards. Test these brackets at the track. 3D printed for them. We're gonna do 100 percent infill. Say April 1st. No. Uh -huh. Do you think you could eat what mile an hour do you think you could stop from with a 3D printed bracket? I think they would literally just rip off your pushing the car. Yeah, there's no mile per hour involved. It's like less than that. Like if the car lurched forward, they'd be off. No way. I bet you could stop from at least five or ten. Should we find out? <laughs> That's how you get the YouTube videos, 100% because it, it would be in compression. So like, it, 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 it would, but like 100% infill is basically solid plastic because every layer height would be 100%. I bet you might be able to get the wheel to spin fast enough on the lift by hand, jam the brake and it would explode. Even no. 100% infill. I don't think so. so. Sounds like we should I mean, try. Put this to the test. Push it to the limit. And insert song. All right, this looks fantastic as well. All right. Game. Look, let's get in there. Ooh, that's a nice. Look at that perfect pad fitment. Oh man, it looks just like it did on the ground. Mm. Yeah, the, the, it, the 60 print infill is like great. Does it flex anymore? Not really. Just like eh, not bad. it holds itself up. Yeah. Considering it's torqued in and the so, caliper weighs. So when we had twenty percent infill, we were doing it like fast iterations. It kind of flopped around a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I think the only thing we need to worry about. I moved it back five mils. Yeah, we had nothing. We're good. Swagging. Another flawless part. Oh yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Brakes. I guess we'll send this off to Torn. Oh, and, grab no, grab the Willwood and hold it up there. Oh yeah. Where's that guy? No, he, Ew, it's not Will no more. Mike's been on some natural male enhancements. He got that Stellantis. <laughs> so check this out. This is like, I might as well have gotten another stop tech, but I was being yeah. cheap. <laughs> so it's like the biggest wool whatever. And because I valve it for the handbrake, it has like the littlest piston still. So this thing looks so weird and like little willy. So, but it's gonna go like that. Like unsprung weight, it's supposed to matter, but I'm just like adding 60 pounds, then adding 100 pound wheels because I love work wheels. I like, what is physics? We can overcome them with looking good. I think Enzo Ferrari just said you need more horsepower. We can do that. Oh, I was thinking, because we're unlimited now, we can run like a crazy fuel. What would you like run? I don't know. 16 oxygenated, so you can wreck your injectors? I don't know, something. I, is there better than me? like E9? We can run Don't we have E90? We have, E90, we have E98. That's not, I think you can run that in regular class, can you? It's just that long. I don't know. Yeah, I think you use it to boost it, but like, we could, I don't know, I figured there were smart people out there who could tell me what to do. What, what fuel should I run in my turbo E46? DM me in the comments. Something that fits an LS. <laughs> <laughs> what fuel has LS motors in it? <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna do that. This thing's gonna be gnarly. It does look really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Make them touch at the top. Touchy. Oh. That yeah, would keep your wheelies a little bit apart. This reminds me of like Steven Papadakis cars. Yeah. With the two stop techs like dueled. You should put three on there since so trying to break. <laughs> should I just put one down here for fun? Just to, make, just, just to do it? You should put the caliper at the very bottom. We should put it all the way at six o'clock. Well, it catches all of them. It doesn't fit. It's hitting the No, it's like oh. F1 does that for the lowest weight. 
Oh, to keep the center of gravity water? Yeah. Classic. I bet if you put that caliper down six inches, you moved your center of gravity point zero 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 one millimeter down. Also, <laughs> peep these pads from Jackie Ding. What was the company that did these? CCRG? Something? That's a go -kart. Counter Space Garage. Counter Space Garage. I C think. SG. CSG, so almost CRG. Go -kart. Does it say on the back? It's a, it's a, it's a square. G. It's something. <laughs> but he ran these at Long Beach, really liked them. And I was like, dude, what brake pads are you running on that stop hit kit? And he was like, you'll buy these ones. And I was like, Okay. So they actually grow them or they machine them or what's the deal? I think it's their own company. They grow them. They like grow them. Right out of the ground. Dude, they, they, they have the right seeds. They got the hookup on the guy from, you know, who knows. And, and they just clip them right <laughs> from the yeah, Yep. These are the two. They grow off here. But anyway, yeah, so if, if you have stop techs and stuff, hit up that guy. You get some cool pads. I have no idea how, if they're good or not. <laughs> but he's fast, so. Best case scenario, they're spray painted silver. I run Hawks, so they're, 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 they're hopefully better. I don't know. Everybody hates the Hawks, but these run good. Yeah. What are we doing now? I'm gonna show you my, like my gas pedal. Oh, we're gonna sh Yeah, we do need to bleed the lift. Just give her a little. Do you all over? No. No, I only did that one and that one because he didn't have wheels on it, and I need to go all the way to, to the ground. All right, Mike has really no clue what he's doing, so. What are you doing? I thought you were gonna show him the bolt on the bottom that you almost stripped oh, out. Oh. See that ghost close that door? That was pretty Shop crazy. Ghost. Shop ghosts. I had notes about what we wanted to do in this video. I was gonna do the gas pedal. You should have a whiteboard oh. that you refer to. I do, it's called Google Keeps. Dude, I bought the thing that goes Yeah, no. Oh, it's in my garage. Did we bring it? Oh, you actually like an end scene thing, like from Hollywood. Yeah, we got that because that's the time, the sound, and the video. Yeah, well, clearly we have the world's most amazing audio and video, it's so all it's all just in one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Where did I put the gas pedal? God, I'm so bad at light. Oh, uh, we did this way out of order, but th this will be good. We'll, this will be the good big break kit video. Now we got to do your pedals. Hey, big brakes require big pedals. And my cage. Well, Although I think the plan is to release those before this video, but I guess if we are done this video, then we're killing it. All right, come here. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll take over the camera angle here. Whoa. All right, Mike's on camera duty. Best uh, of luck. Oh, God. Are we recording? Oh, this is a flashing All right, so basically I had this, I had the stock pedal for like the longest time. So this thing, pretty lame. Anyway, though, so I got, I was able to find this. Same thing as my diffuser off Acura NSX GT3 car from like the Rolex 24. So I'm gonna put this foot thing in, footrest, because it's pretty booling, I have to say. Hey, can you guys keep it down? God damn it! Uh, yeah, you can. God, these guys are so inconsiderate. Anyway, so I got the tilt. I want to do like a hang gas pedal because, I don't know, they're just sweeter and you can have sweet carbon foot trays and stuff. There's no good reason for it. Anyway, I want to put this somewhere around here. So I think what I'm going to do is make a bracket off of these two holes and mount it kind of from the ceiling there and, uh, you know, kind of see what happens. I don't really know how it's going to turn out. When you see this next, you may s you may be able to tell me how good or bad it came out. Um, kind of just trying to take care of all this stuff before we put the column in. Another thing we're going to do is put a potentiometer back in the car from the clutch pedal to the dash. What that does is measure a 0 to 5 volt for the HTG DCT controller so I can have an electronic clutch pedal to slap clutch kicks with the dual clutch 7 speed. So uh, that's why I have no shifter there. But um. Yeah, come back for a vibe check on the E46. She's kind of tore apart again. Story of its life. Uh, but should be cool now. Uh, yeah, who knows? Got the motor over there. Zoom. Wow. 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 Anyway, though. So, yeah. This thing has stopping. It's about to have a gas pedal for going. About to have a clutch for doing things that are legal, you know. And look at that, jeez. Jeez. But it's pretty clean in here now. Order some Vibrant uh, 
heat shielding stuff, so I'll make a little heat shield there. And she'll be rad. Alright, let's check out Chris's uh, cage coming along. He got this hood. Somehow these dopes painted this dry carbon hood. Has like the most beautiful dry carbon. Looks like Ryan Turk's Supra. The top and, is painted nicely. It's but like, just, why would you paint it? And then put a nice sticker right in the middle. It so doesn't make any sense. Standard. This is ridiculous. But the cage is coming along here. Cage is super sweet. So much welding. Yeah, so basically the main area is done. Yeah, well, what, mean, what do you got left? A diagonal bar? Uh, yeah, so I ordered material yesterday, so I have two more sticks coming. But basically, I got this bar is done. Oh, yeah. Right there. Okay. Nice and beautiful. And then you got the other one. This obviously comes there. And then I got the crossbar done, which I read the rules like 50 times. And it doesn't say that this can't be one piece, but also, like, I thought the diagonal had to be one piece. The diagonal is generally two. Huh. It just I inter it, was... it has to intersect within just like. Yeah, I have to be six inches and then six inches from the floor. But so, yeah, I have the cross one done so we can do the diagonal and then the X. And then it'll start. You don't and need a the, full X. Usually you just need one diagonal. Uh, I'm going to do one diagonal here, but I'm going to X these going back. Oh, okay. Just like Oh, the extra. back the back ones? Yeah, that looks cool. Yeah, like, that should be like something like that. That definitely looks cool. That's what I heard all the cool kids on the internet were doing. You should just pop those to your radium tank. Anyway, what else we got going on here? Yeah, because I was going to say, I Oh, are rest of my parts in here? Oh my god. There's so many parts. I don't know. Well, that's kind of what I wanted to do. So that's why I think, well, the big break kit was first. Well, the big break kit was going to be last. I was going to do a cage update and then segue into showing the big break kit, but we just filmed that. So maybe we'll post that one first and then I'll do a cage update. So. All right, batteries flashing. This is, we gotta end it now. We gotta do this in one take. Can you even see me? This is I terrible. Can see you. I know you can see me. It's pretty bright. All right, guys. Well, we're calling it a video there then. So I have no clue what we just accomplished because this was kind of just a total shit show. But um, tune in next time and I will actually do the cage update, I think, because I'm gonna go get a battery and film that now.